Bill Maru, Toy Canics. What's going on Toy Canic and Crew Maru fans? Today I am bringing you a thigh mod tutorial, which you've seen probably a thousand times, but this time it's gonna be on the new Geralt of Rivia figures from McFarlane Toys. Uh, I thought this would be kind of fun to do just so you can see exactly where to cut. Um, you know, adds another video to my library. And uh, also I wanted to show off my friend Clayton's work. This is pretty cool. So this one right here is mine and this one's Clayton's. And look at the neck. Well, or the lack of, I guess, neck on this one. This is this is factory, straight for, uh, out of the box. And this is Clayton's. And what he's done is he's added a neck from a uh, figure from the Evolve series. Um, I'm not sure the name of the figure, but uh, I only think they made like four or so. So it's... Yeah, look at this. This is super cool, man. He implanted a neck down in here, and it's it's a it's a substantial amount of work, really. Um, most of it's hidden because of the uh, the soft rubber piece right here, and uh, yeah, it looks really good. Look at that. That is awesome. I think it looks really really good. You can look down pretty well, and you can even look up a little bit. I think a little mod in the back here. He could look up a little further, but I'll let him do that. Uh, he wanted me to uh, do a thigh mod on his figure, so I figured this would be a good opportunity to do so. So, just a refresher course for you guys for the thigh mods. Uh, this is the same for every single one of these so far, is I take a flat, like a flathead screwdriver, carefully pop the legs off. Kind of what you do is you basically kind of got to press this in and pull down from this side. All right. And then next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat these up with a heat gun on my end. You can soak these in hot water. You can use a blow dryer. I imagine a blow dryer is gonna take a long time to heat these up. These are pretty thick calves, but what I use is a heat gun to heat these up and then I will pry these out using a punch or pick. Basically, I'm gonna come in from the side like so and pry these guys up. So since we've got this heated up now, and sometimes I have to go in twice to heat it up. Um, sometimes you gotta knock some of this free down in here. You don't wanna grab by the circle here, this little uh, peg hole and pull up, you will break this every single time. I've seen too many people break it. And you can get a hold of this, this plastic inside of here pretty well there you go like generally what's on the ground now generally what will happen is I'll end up damaging the peg like this and damaging is a scary word it, this does not affect anything at all um, one time I did dig into this part pretty deep which it still didn't matter and if there's ever like a little piece that's hanging off you can just dremel that off this is really, really strong, thick plastic from here down. So it's fine. You'll be fine right here. Um, you can really get a hold of that. But like I said, never try to pull this thing out using these. If you have done this before and succeeded, you got extremely lucky. I have seen people break these constantly and it you can't really repair, repair that. You can try to add it's like some JB weld or super weld or super glue to them and it might stay, but uh, you've got to remember, you got to pop these back over those pegs and chances are this is hard plastic. It might snap on you. So you got to be really, really careful with that. So next, what we're going to do is I'm going to reheat this and we're going to come in with our razor blade, straight razor. Um, this is the only technique I trust. Gonna get ourselves a brand new razor blade. And we're gonna reheat this up and then we're gonna get right to the cut. Since this is still nice and soft and hot, what we're gonna do is you want to test where this is gonna lie, right here, okay? So this goes down fairly far, generally, Generally, not all the time, so this is why I always have to test. This little piece right here, this flat piece, can kind of line up right about here. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna cut anywhere 
from here to here. I like to try to get it in the smaller portion, um, but if it gets into this, it's not a problem at all. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in right here. I think right here looks pretty good. We're gonna go right here. And we're gonna just cut straight down. get down near to the bottom you want to kind of press this open a little bit just a little bit because that lip of that razor blade can catch oh no look what McFarlane did to us he did it again he used a different color plastic Ugh. this so he did this on the original um, Mortal Kombat figures as well. He did this on Johnny Cage and he did this on Raiden. Um, the thigh mod still, you still want to do it, but it's like, ah, oh, it sucks that he, why isn't that, you know, in the yellowish mustard color here instead? And it's weird because on the inside, it's all yellow here. Everything's yellow here. This is, and then there's this gray mark but um either way our thigh mod's good it's done it's solid it's clean uh, i don't know why he does that he did this on uh johnny cage like i said and raiden and um well solid solid uh thigh cut it's exactly where you want to cut it so for those of you who really want to know right where to cut it at let's take a tape measure out Let's see where to cut it. So we're looking at, if you were to go, you're looking at about, let's see from the big end here. And we're not about an inch. This is kind of, it's a real, <laughs> it looks like three quarters of an inch from the long side. And then we're looking at about, oh my gosh, it's maybe a third, maybe a third of an inch, about a third of an inch down. Yeah, it's not quite half an inch. Half an inch might be a little too far, but, uh, but yeah, it looks really good. It's a nice solid cut. I'll definitely be uh, doing this to mine as well. Let's, uh, just for consistency purposes, we're gonna do the other one as well. Heated this up again. Now what's cool is we can take the one that we've already used over here. And we can kind of measure that one out and use that as our, as our guide. Let's see, that looks pretty good, I'd say. Said, always lift that up there so that lip doesn't catch on your straight razor. Boy, that is a thick one too. So, and it's always best to, to get these in right, right as you uh, after you cut it. Um, I've reheated these before after I made the cut and the hole wants to almost close up with the heat. Make sure you give a good twist in there. And then, let's get that nice in there. Cool. And so next, this is always fun. Generally, you can just kind of angle it from a side so you can see that's going in there. Make sure the peg catches. the pop press that one in there a little more there we go and then we'll come in at an angle kind of gotta finagle the uh 
crotch piece here. Our pop. And don't be worried when you're messing with it, like right after, this one right here is still soft, so you can still see um, how it kind of, still kind of has a little gap there. But once it hardens up, you end up with that. So, I hope that helps everybody kind of figure out how they want to customize the Geralt of Rivia. Um, go give my buddy uh, Clayton a follow, man, on his Instagram. I'm sure he'll be posting some uh, work in progress photos of this. Um, you can find his Instagram handle right there at the bottom. It'll be Grave24. And yeah, I hope you guys, uh, like I said, learned something from this. And um, yeah, this is pretty cool. I really like this neck mod too. I'm gonna have to do this myself or find another neck that's uh, equal to. I don't know how much this figure costs, but uh, if he's cheap, go ahead and grab him. Pop that neck in there. You have to remove this and whatnot, but Maybe I'll uh, do a tutorial over that with his guidance. Uh, we'll see. But as always, take care out there, and I'll keep repairing. Bill Maru, Toy Canics.